Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. And get in that car. Leave a little note and we'll try. Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife. I'm so glad you're here. Today is going to be much like a vlog style day. Um, the weather here is going to be, the temperature is going to be very mild. It's going to be in the 60s, but we're going to have torrential rains high gust winds, we're in tornado watches or warnings, whichever one, where they're just, the potential is there. And it is going to be a blustery, rainy, terrible day. Um, they've actually already canceled school. Let's go out on the front porch and see what the weather's like right now. When I woke up this morning about six o'clock, I could hear rain, but it has subsided, but it's coming. I mean, I think that was just like an outer band of what is to come. So let's go outside and see what's happening right now. Okay, so it is actually drizzling a little bit, but the, it's not a torrential downpour yet, but it is coming. It is chilly out. I would assume it's probably in the 40s uh, right now. We'll go inside and look in just a minute. But I want to show you something, and I might can see it better from the window. Um, I've been watching this bird this morning, and I'm not going to walk down there because the rain is actually starting to pick up a little bit. I hear it. Um, so let me go inside and see if I can see it better from the window. Okay, I don't know if you can see... But right there is a little bird's nest. And I've been watching this bird. I haven't actually seen him go in the nest. But I'm wondering if it is his nest. He's been around it. But I haven't actually seen him in it. So, And I haven't walked out there to see if there's any eggs in it or not. Um, I don't want to bother it. But um, just a sign of, you know, maybe spring is coming. <laughs> I know it's a long way off, but, um, yeah, we have a little bird's nest in our dead rose bush. <laughs> but, anyway, it is 44 degrees outside. And just a drizzly, rainy day. Um, don't look at the clock because the clock, I have never been able to get the clock correct. It is three hours behind, so I always have to add three hours. It's actually 9.09 a.m. but it is 44 degrees and there's the rain and storm and it is 64 degrees in the house and let's see there's a way I can change does that mean it's seven degrees Celsius yes it is seven degrees Celsius um, and I do enjoy that is 18 degrees inside the house Celsius. So it <laughs> makes me feel like it's really cold. But um, we go by Fahrenheit here. So I always try to keep it on Fahrenheit. So 44 degrees Fahrenheit, 95% humidity. I would almost say it's 100% humidity. <laughs> but um, anyway, and it is January 9th, 2024. If anybody knows how to fix the clock, I've, I've hit the reset button and it's supposed to set with, you know, I don't know. I guess that's the world clock that it sets with. So anyway, it is actually 9, 10 a.m. So I've actually fried me up some bacon in the air fryer. Uh, I love my bacon in the air fryer, especially the thick bacon. I don't think this is necessarily thick bacon, but I have just come to where I absolutely love bacon out of the air fryer. But today is, like I said, it's going to be very much vlog style. I am working on laundry. My washer has been on the fritz. Um, okay, everyone, this hallway was full of loads of laundry. I had them in piles, and I'm down to one pile in the hallway, 
and I have a couple of loads still out on the porch, but <clears throat> I have whittled it way down. I have been working super hard. Um, the weather still about the same. The rain has not come, but I did notice while I go, the wind seemed to be picking up a little bit, but now it looks like it's died back down a little bit. So, uh, yeah, I'm not sure what's when the storm is supposed to actually hit, but it's probably when we're going to be heading out. So yeah, I do see the wind is blowing a little bit. So, okay. We have also actually gone over, we have a rental property um, <clears throat> that, um, well, we have one that was our mobile home that we started out in and the renters destroyed it, like absolutely destroyed it. And so we've been working on there. We've got the subfloor replaced. And um, so Daniel's actually going to be working up there some today. And we also have my, when my sister, anyway, we have my sister's house that we own. And um, my sister passed away in 03. And so um, we rented it out. Some of you may remember Trevor. He and his wife have rented that, but they are, I think, fixing to buy a home or um, go to a bigger property. So we actually met a renter who's going to rent that house, and they signed the lease and all that good stuff. So we've done that today. It has been a very productive day, um, and yeah, so I'm going to fix, I'm going to have some Russian tea. I'm going to fix me a cup of Russian tea, and then we are going to... Um, after I have my Russian tea and sit down a minute, <laughs> rest a minute, I've just put up a load of laundry, folded it. Um, I actually, I am terrible. Let me tell you what I'm terrible at doing. I am terrible of bringing the laundry right here, folding it, taking it to the prospective bedrooms and, if it, and, and sitting it on the bed. Well, a lot of the things, even if I fold it, that needs to be hung up. So what I did today was I laid everything in here. I brought hangers in here, went ahead and hung them up. And that way they go ahead and get in the closet. I am terrible about putting things on the bed and with every intentions of going back in there to hang stuff up and get the hangers out and everything, but forgetting and not going back in the bedroom until I'm already half asleep in here. Well, then I don't want to hang it up. So, ugh. Anyway, so today what I did was I brought the laundry in here from the porch and went and got hangers and just went ahead and hung them up. And so that worked really good. Uh, the shirt, I, ha the, I have a couple things still laid out in here, that towel. Um, I, that's my favorite towel. <laughs> so it came out of the laundry. So instead of folding it and putting it in the bathroom, I'm just going to hang it on my hook because... That's my towel. <laughs> and I also have a shirt still laying in here that I'm going to wear today to the big event at Duke. So, all right, let me go fix some Russian tea. And whatever we do next, you'll go with us. Okay, everybody, our friend has arrived that's going with us to this event. Um, I'm cutting out lights. And um, the storm is right around the corner. <laughs> So we're probably going to be driving in it, but I got a little snack and we're headed out. Y'all, I'm a big Duke fan and I actually just met Coach K. So we're so we, we we've been treated like royalty. We were met and delivered to the green room, and I got to make, meet Coach K. So this is an exciting day, and especially for Little Easton, I'm so excited, y'all. This is gonna be so fun. Here we are in the green room. We were escorted here to the green room, and this is some of Easton's family here. And um, everybody was hanging out. There's Coach K. Um, we were then escorted to our seats for the event, and they had a lot of entertainment to starting off the program. 
This is Duke's 100 year, and the video here is showing the, the different cheerleading uniforms from the 1924 to today, and then the dorm rooms. Um, it was such a good and wonderfully put together event. It was absolutely amazing. Now they did offer quite a bit of entertainment um, for the day. They had dancers, they had diverse groups of dancers come out and offer a lot of entertainment to kick off this wonderful 100 year event. It was um, very well choreographed and put together and whoever organized it did an amazing and wonderful job. Sorry, my phone just beeped <laughs> and you heard it. But here the groups are dancing. And of course, Ken Jung was the um, host for the day. And he is hilarious, but he is super nice. I met him. He is wonderful. He actually gives the farm and pastor's wife a great shout out for the day. <laughs> um, that was not it there, though. <laughs> um, well, I'll show that at the end, but um, he was a wonderful host. And um, we're about to see the um, video of Little Easton. Little Easton was the world's first thymus and heart transplant. And this is the video they made of Little Easton. And it was a wonderfully done Easton. I mean, a video of Easton, and there he is, isn't he precious? Um, there's his mom, Caitlin. She's a sweet, precious friend of ours. And um, it went through his journey of everything they went through. Now, in just a minute, that is the doctor who performed the procedure. They have kept in close contact with him, and um, they come out and explain how... Um, the surgery went and um, everything they'll come out and talk in just a minute but um, the video was amazing I will try to share a link when it is available to the whole program that you can go back and watch if you are interested but Dr. Turk was very friendly he's very nice and he is definitely part of the cinnamon family now that he has cared. Now, this lady is the one who cultured and, and grew the thymus and transplanted the thymus, which holds their immune system, a person's immune system. So it was a joint effort because little Easton had no thymus and his heart needed a transplant. So um, they both needed to be replaced. But it was a well done video and um, it was just great. How many of you have ever heard of the thymus and knew what it did? It was very interesting to learn the ins and outs of everything that takes place. This is his little sister, Ivy. Isn't she beautiful? And his grandma. There he is at the hospital going for his transplant. He was the first to ever receive a heart and thymus transplant. And as you can see, he is a happy, healthy, thriving little boy. And he is a huge, huge part of our church family. He brightens up the church just when he walks in every Sunday. There's his dad, Brandon. <laughs> that sweet smile. He's just precious. And as you can see, the doctors have now um, arrived on stage. The video is ending. 
And um, yeah, so the doctors talk for just a little bit and share the details of everything. The lady who's actually talking, she was another host for the event. Her name is Lisa Borders and she is um, the former president of the WNBA. Not sure why my camera went down, but anyway. <laughs> And she is pretty much telling the story of the doctors and um, giving them a chance to share. I wish I could share the audio, but I will, I will, um, as soon as the link is available, I will add it down in the description below so you can go and watch the whole program and see exactly what it's all about. to the green room again, so we're going back here. We were too far, Taking just a minute here to tell you that my sweet husband, he got me a big, big shout out. So hang tight and I'll let you see that. Farming pastors wife. Right. She's much, the bomb. Much love. She's the bomb. Much love. Y'all, this day was much bigger than I even expected. It was huge. Um, I got to meet my favorite coach in the whole wide world. And um, and then of course we got to meet Ken and uh, we met the there was a guy in there, I didn't point him out, but he is the president of Duke University. Um, it was just a huge, huge day. Our governor was there. We met our governor. Had our, um, it was just absolutely um, a big event and so wonderful. But um, I, I, I cannot tell you how even meeting all those wonderful people and all those big names and hanging out with some really big time people 
I am honored to know the Cinnamon family and to have been a part of this and that they invited us to this event. Um, super, super honored and blessed to know them. So thank you guys. Like I said, this day was much bigger than I had originally expected, but it was a great day and I was so thrilled. Bright and I both were thrilled and honored to be a part of it. Okay, guys, I will see you next time on The Farm and Pastor's Wife. Remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. Bye, y'all.